Greetings. I'm in Bakerstown, Pennsylvania. It's a suburb of Pittsburgh. It's a beautiful day. Uh, we're tracking down some cool locations. Hope you're having a good one. Make sure you're subscribed below. Also, click like. So, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, shot in Pittsburgh. It was uh, WQED was the station he shot at. And they shot there. And what I think is interesting about the show, I loved it when I was a kid. And when I grew up, I rewatched a bunch of them with my son. And I saw how it was so different than everything else, but in more than just the ways that everybody thinks. The stuff everybody remembers was him coming in, him taking his sweater off, and or taking his jacket off and putting on his sweater, him changing his shoes, singing his song. And then everybody remembers all the puppets in the neighborhood of make-believe. But the other part of the show I thought was very interesting. He would always have some lesson he was teaching, and he'd teach it uh, with props or, or different things like that, maybe teach uh, kids about something to deal with a certain emotion or something else. And then he would go someplace, and there's a whole variety of places he would go. He'd go to the post office, or he'd go to Washington, D.C., and go to the postmaster general's office. Uh, he would go to all different stores, go to a doctor's office and tell the kids, hey, uh, you know, this is what it's like to go here. This is what it's like when they put the stethoscope on you. This, you know, here are some things the kids might be scared of. Here's why you don't need to be scared. And one of those episodes, they went out on the road and they went to a grocery store that was in this building here. So we're going to look at it. We're going to match up some photos. Hope you enjoy it. Glad you're here. Let's go. Now in the show, whenever they would go to a place, a different location, they would build a little set of it. And this is what it looked like for this. They would show the little set, they'd play the music, and then they'd show the real place. And here's the real place. It's changed a bit since it was a grocery store. It's now a consignment shop. Uh, I looked on Google Street View, it actually was abandoned for a little while. It took me some time to find it. I'm gonna now show you what it looked like. Let's see if I can get the exact angle. This is what it looked like in the show. You can see how it sticks out here. You can see the roof line. It looks like it was abandoned for a little while after being a grocery store. It was a Wagner grocery store. And I looked up, Wagner still has a grocery store. So I don't know if they had two uh, that one's not very far from here, and it's a family grocery store. I don't know if they had two grocery stores or if they opened that one and closed this one. Let's take a look at the outside. Go all the way around, see how big it is, because definitely uh, a grocery store then becoming a consignment shop does seem, you know, you think like grocery stores are huge. So we'll have to see how big it is on the inside. Uh, here's a shot from the show. You can see Chef Rocket riding up on his bicycle. Chef Rocket. Hey, how are you, Fred? I'm just fine. Boy, are you doing well. I'm a two-wheeler. I ride every day now. It's great for my legs. I'm proud of you. Yeah, I'm taking my friends to the grocery <laughs> store here. And Fred Rogers would have been standing right about where I am now. And you can see when they do the establishing shot, you can see this house here. There's some trees grown up, but you can see that. And I think you see this other beautiful house at some point. Uh, but then Fred goes inside and checks out the grocery store and we'll go inside and check it out soon enough. You can see right over here was these two poles. Now you see they have wood here now, but then they had like metal poles and this was some kind of a display here. And then in the window, you could see the different prices for the foods that would be right there. And here was the door he went in, which was right there. So let's show the side of the building. Just see how deep it goes. Yeah, not very big. This was a, it was a family grocery store. So we'll go in, we'll take a look around. I'll get some shots, see how permissible they are to the idea of some goof filming inside their store. But let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, so this would have been right over here on this side of the store. Which is fascinating to think of. And he would have been showing the produce right over here. This is 
is really something here. I was talking to the employees. They didn't know that this, uh, that Mr. Rogers filmed here. They were all shocked and excited to hear about it. Look at this. They said at one point this place was a pizza place too. So let's see here. Let's see what we can match up. So it looks like there's some kind of a door here, which would have to be towards the back, which means the cereal aisle would probably have been right around here. So that would have been right here. And when they filmed him, it would have been probably right from this angle. And here's Fred shaking hands with somebody over here. Look at that. So I guess the checkout counter would have been on your way out of the store. It would have been about here. If you look online, there's some bloopers of him. Uh, the cashier seemed nervous as she was doing her lines and everything. I think she was an employee of the grocery store. And that would have been right about in this area. Yeah, what uh, grocery store is all about. Joel showed us down in the... Uh, Storeroom? Storeroom. Oh. Let's say that's 357. Oh. The five. <laughs> the five. <laughs> Did I forget to give it back? So in the back, uh, there is a basement. And they said that there's not the conveyor belt anymore that they show in the episode, but they said that, you know, that's the basement here. So the basement was shot here on the premises, which makes sense. I, he was trying to show how things really were at a grocery store. Here he is walking down the aisle. Pretty neat to see. A lot of change over the years. There's an emergency exit back here, and I think, let's take a look here, I think this would have been out in this area. It's interesting, they have uh, like a panel there that separates the wall like into two parts, and in this, the wall was two-tone. So I wonder if that was uh, the same spot, but yeah, here's the... Uh, so here he is in the produce section. This is the one we looked at before, and actually he's facing this way, but that would have been, that would have been facing towards the front of the store. So he actually would have been on that side. I got everything backwards. He would have been on that side over there. Interesting. So that means the produce, I guess he was getting like, milk and cheese maybe here and here he's getting looks like uh these carrots and things like that we're right along this wall so and that would have been the exit right there and so this uh scale where you could weigh your fruits and vegetables would have been right in this area and all of that would have been right here i noticed they have some cool steins here i might have to might have to pick up one of these Oh, and look at this, look at these film reels. Here they are, look at that. Very interesting. Well, this place has changed a lot. That is, uh, let's read some of these because I feel like these are often very Mr. Rogers-like. It's the little things that make life wonderful. Look at this, look at this over here. There you go. Well, there it is. 
It was very interesting talking to the two ladies that work there. Uh, they, they both immediately were like, hey, what are you doing here? What's, uh, what's going on? And they were very nice. Uh, I told them about it and then I showed them the pictures and they were like, whoa, you know, uh, the one lady I spoke to, very nice, she said that she was here when it was a grocery store. She went in and shopped when it was a grocery store, so she's from the area uh, and she had never known that, that, you know, a celebrity had been in their store, Mr. Rogers, done been on television. So I told them they could look up the episode. The episode was from 1984. And you know that because they had Pac-Man cereal back then and Mr. T cereal. This is a beautiful town. Look at this place. I just love these houses. And there's a, another shopping center right over here. See Sing Sing Sing. It says they do lessons, classes, karaoke, and parties. The Wynwood Building, Virgin Flooring. I think has a pretty cool logo. Take a look at that because it's like a zombie. And then up here, the Chevy place right up here on the hill. That's what I like about this area. Everything's real hilly. Let's go over and take a look at that. Yeah, here it is. Look at this. Virgin flooring and they've got like a skeleton. He's laying down the, laying down some tile. Look at that. It's pretty great. So this is the side of the grocery store. You can see uh, the entrance right over there. This is what it looks like from back here. And you can see like when this would have been a grocery store, would have loaded in all your all your stuff over here. It's like, looks like maybe like a loading dock area there. Those concrete steps. Well, there you have it. That's it. Uh, very nice people in there. They showed me around a bit. Uh, let me see what everything looked like. You know, it's very different. They didn't know. Nobody that was there knew. They all knew who Mr. Rogers was. I gave them the printouts that I had because they were super excited about showing the other people here. There's their, uh, there's their info. So if you're in the area, it's some beautiful stuff. Well, I hope you're having a great day right now. Two boxes are going to pop up. One of them's here. One of them's here. You can choose either one. I'm in both of them. I'll see you next time.